Hello guys, here is Michael Mark again and uh, thank you very much for your support and welcome to my work channel. Last year we met Grandma Samri, she is 84 years old, but right now, today, it's not long to go, about last week, and we went to see her again, she is 85 years old now. She got really sad life and stressed and depressed because she lived at Ratanagiri and her husband used to serve in the army so he got killed by the Pol Pot regime and her children all got killed too. And just left behind herself and she got the accident you can see on her back and then it damaged the backbone so she cannot uh, walk very well and got so much suffering. She lived by herself. Renting the house cost her $50 a month. She lived in the plumping with the small room. But I'm so proud of Grandma Samri. She is working hard. She never give up. She give herself a hope and she is struggle and she believe in herself and she's selling the clams. She wake up early in the morning, she went out there to buy the clam and put some salt dry with the sunlight and she put that couch around and selling it make her living a little better. But she getting older and older, she got accident with her back, you can see it, And but she never giving up. I'm so proud of her. She is 85 years old. She live by herself, very lonely. Nobody pay attention. Nobody cares about her. And nobody uh, want to helping her. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. But right now, we work as a team, Putak and me, and Puwat at Cambodia. I live in the United States. I saw all this real life with those poor people. It's so much suffering, my heart breaking. And then I try to do my best I can to helping them by supporting Putak and Puwat and then making some videos spread all over to let the people see the real life, how much suffer, how much struggle people working hard for their life. Day by day, my heart is shaking and breaking and crying out for help and then I just do day and night to work on this video and we discuss and we have the meetings every day to help our job get smoother. And thank you very much for having a heart and see this video and try to helping her. This is the third time but she's so excited and happy because from our care at Cambodia, just we do the best we can. We have no community, we have no budget, we have no support, we have no sponsors, but we just try to do what we can. We cannot be silent, we cannot see and hear all this and uh, cry out for help. We just don't want to be selfish, we want to be helped to be the one who can help to release this suffering life from the stopping, from no clothes, no shelter, and no medical care, no doctor care, and no money to go to see the doctor. You can see her face, 85 years old. She very lonely, nobody 
loving her, nobody caring about her, and so much dangerous when she pushing her cart, walking around to sell her clams along the street. In Cambodia, it's not cold. It's very, very hot, over a hundred degrees every day. Even in the monsoon season, that hotter than the dry season. Our country look very beautiful, but it mostly is every place is flooding, especially in the Phnom Penh when the monsoon season or the raining or heavy raining season is flood all over the place. And after the flood and temperatures going over 100 degrees, 120 to 150 degrees, it's very, very hot. You can see she wearing a hat to protect all those sunlight. And Futak got a chance to get some donation to give me to her because they saw this video. This video I always updated from last year because uh, her life needing help with nobody helping her. But I just try to do it from my heart to helping her out a little and probably can help her get a better life before she dies. Yes, at least we live in the United States. When we get old about her age, we can retire and we get some retirement plan, some money coming in. More or less, it doesn't matter, but we got the medical care from the government and then we got the Medicaid and stuff and we can go see doctor. At least it here, if we don't have enough money to pay for rent, for food, we can apply for the government help. But at Cambodia, Cambodian people getting old or the homeless people cannot get help because the government they didn't have any system to help all those people. And our countries, it war by war, because like the French took over our country for 90 years, and after that, it got a difficult time for political uh, situation and create a lot of war and cause our country collapse about economy. It's getting harder and harder. Thank you very much, guys, for your support and viewer like you. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Please stay tuned. If you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to receive new videos every week I upload to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you very much for viewer like you. You make the world different. And we'll see you guys on the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.